I see rivers as this social ecological system where humans and the river interact. While we're enjoying these benefits of nature, we may tend to overuse um, these benefits and then we degrade it. It's what some people call loving nature to death. Currently, I'm looking at the supply and demand of parks and protected places and the benefits they provide. One of my research areas is the San Marcos River, which is a perfect place to do research because it's here on the university campus, which you have a lot of interactions with students, tourists, residents, but also it's this very valuable natural resource, crystal clear river that provides a lot of benefits to many different people. The two main questions are what are the supply of uh, benefits for natural resources like the San Marcos River? And then the second question is what is the demand for that, both from the natural environment but also from the human environment. Uh, natural spaces offer a variety of benefits, uh, resources like fresh water, uh, water quality, flood control, but also recreational benefits like swimming, kayaking. By providing all these benefits, we as humans demand many of those, particularly for mental and physical health. And uh, when we use those, we use some of those resources. So with the supply and demand, it's looking at that balance between the two. So the, the clarity of the river is a, a big factor on what, how we can use that river. Uh, another factor is how many people are in the river. The protected natural spaces are used by both humans and also wildlife. And we have to take into account uh, the needs of both of those. So for instance, the, the trails here in San Marcos, we like to use those, but there's a certain bird species, the golden cheek warbler, that also nest in some of these areas and we have to look out for them. So one of the ways that we manage is we close off certain trails for a certain part of the year so that we don't uh, bother the golden cheek warbler. And then the rest of the year, humans get to enjoy those trails. The San Marcos River provides a lot of benefits and, and we want to use those, but we can protect the ecosystem by creating public access points so we can control and manage where the public's using them and then protect sensitive areas of the river where there might be erosion or sensitive vegetation or wildlife. Central Texas is the fastest growing region in the United States. Um, and with all these people coming here, they have many demands on the environment, particularly recreational demands, so they want to use places like the San Marcos River. And uh, we have to make sure that we provide enough of these uh, natural spaces and, and benefits for people to use. If not, then those resources get degraded.